Hi everybody. In this example, we're going to be using the VLOOKUP to fill in missing information. So in this example, we originally had just what you see in A, B, and C, in F, and in H. Okay, it was the bare minimum of uh, sales transaction information. We had the invoice number, the date, what we sold, and who we sold it to, and what was the revenue that we uh, generated from each of those sales. That's great. If you were to later on print this out for somebody, and um, they weren't that familiar with your SKU numbers, with your customer ID numbers, and so forth, it's going to be hard for them to know what you were selling and who you were selling it to. If you're going to be putting together a, a pivot table, and you want to make it a friendly summary of information, again, we have no idea what this is. We have no idea what the customers are. All right? So... Let's just say that, that you, it, it took you a while to procure this, all right? And for you to go back to wherever you need to go back to to get this information, plus maybe the description of what the SKU is, the, maybe even the category that it falls into, as well as the actual company name that belongs to each of these customer IDs, let's just say that that's going to take too much time. All right. So what do we do? I mean, I mean, so let's just back up here a little bit. So if that were the case. All right. And you but you needed to get this information filled in. You would probably have to go out and find maybe a list of all your products along with the corresponding descriptions and categories and then go in each of these and it maybe even go as far as maybe sorting this, right, and then say, okay, for HRT 9874, in my little list that I have, uh, there it is, it's a bike shoe. So I'll type in bike shoes, copy that down as far as HRT 9874 goes, and then do that for the next SKU and the next one and so forth. If you had 10 or 15 SKUs, you could probably pull that off pretty easily. If you had, I don't know, how about 1,000, how about 2,000? different SKUs in there. That would be crazy, all right? You would you, you'd go crazy doing that. So what you would do is you come up with a list and either, you know, put it here or put it on a different sheet. We'll have another example coming up in another video where we have multiple sheets and all that. But for now, you know, where we might have this information, but for now, we're just going to have it on the same sh sheet here. And I, I do it this way to begin with, just so that you get a sense of what, what's happening here. Okay. So what you do is you come up with, up with your own list. You say, okay, ABC1234 is cushion seat and it's accessory. And you just do each one of these. All right. Now, again, as I was saying earlier in that last video, we're going to eventually, when we put the VLOOKUP formula in here, so what, what you also did too, other, other than putting this list together, you also put the columns of what, what is missing, you know, that you want to eventually fill in. But my point is, is that to get the description and to get the category, you're going to be basing it on this here. Whatever this is, okay, in this case it's a SKU number, that has to be the first column of your table that you're going to be looking up on. Same thing with the customer here. The customer ID number, well, that's just a little bit to the right here. That will be the first column. And then, of course, then the company names on the second, or customer names on the second. So that's how that works, okay? But uh, again, it falls in that same same rule. Okay, so, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the VLOOKUP that will refer to the SKU number here. Look for the SKU number in this table here. When it finds it, okay, we want it to give us like the second column of information. That will be for this one. Then we're going to have the same exact formula for this one here, except it's going to be the third column of information. That will be for the category. So, and then, of course, with the, uh, with the uh, company name, we'll be looking up on this. 
and we're going to be looking for it in this table over here. When it finds that ID number, we get the corresponding one in that second column, see? So, and that's pretty much how that works. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead over here at D2. We're going to say equal. We're going to do a VL. There's our VLOOKUP. Double click that. We're going to click on to the HRT 9874. All right, comma. Now, we want to then refer to the table, which is this one over here. Now, you could do it by selecting this. Now, if you do that, you got to remember to hit the F4 key to make this absolute. All right? Because later on, when you copy the formula down, you want to make sure. So when you're copying it down, um, it's, it's not going to change on you. You don't want the, this to start shifting down. So you'd have to do it, the F4 key. But the other problem is later on, if maybe you didn't have every SKU number in here, and later on you, you want to add more, you have to put them below this range. Well, what happened then is you'd have to redo the formula. Not that that's a big deal. It's just a, it's a hassle to do. So you'd be better off if there's a better way of, of making this happen. So instead of selecting the range like that, we're just going to select from J through L, just like that, see? We're just going to do the whole column. We don't have to worry about later on when we copy this down, the shifting down, because you are going from row one down to row one million plus down to the bottom. So, I mean, you're all the way at the bottom. And the other thing, too, is if, if later on you add new SKUs, you can add one here. You can add the next one on row 100. You can next, add the next one on row 1,000. It will be included in the range because you got that whole column, see? So that's a much better way of doing it. So we're just going to go that route for the rest of the examples as well, but that's how we do it. Then you do another comma, and of course when it finds the SKU number, we want then the description, which is in this case the second column. So we put a 2 in there, comma, and of course we want this to be an exact match. So we go false. We double click that. Enter it in. Perfect. Then if you want to save some time, click on the formula, or on the cell that has the formula. Select this whole thing here. We'll hit Control C for copy. Click on the cat and then hit escape. Then click on the category and hit Control V to paste it. Of course, we're going to get the same thing. But then on this one, we're going to change that from a 2 to a reference of a 3, right? Because when it finds the ID number, we want the third column, which is the category to go in on that one, right? Enter that in, and there we go. And of course then, once you've done the two of them, we can just select both of them just like that. Go to the bottom right-hand corner, get that little black plus, our little full handle, and double-click it. And there it goes. Perfect. No problem at all. If we went later on, okay, and changed padded helmet to, I don't know, iguana. Iguana tray. I have no idea what that is, but iguana tray. All right. Enter that in. You're going to see, I should have done one more towards the top there, but you'll see there's one iguana tray. See, so it'll update. So if later on maybe something changes over here, or maybe you put the wrong description name in there for it, you know, for that corresponding number, you change it there, automatically updates over there. Very, very powerful stuff there. All right. Now, last but not least, we'll work with the, uh, the company now. So we'll go over here to G2. We'll do our equal VL. There's our VLOOKUP. Double click it. We'll say, okay, we're looking up on the customer ID number, so we'll click onto that, comma. Our table array is this over here. So again, we're going to do N and O, right, just in case we add new ones later on, comma, all right. And then when it finds the, the uh, specific 
ID number over here, then give us column number two of this selected uh, table array, right? So we'll put number two in there, comma, and of course, last but not least, false, right? Double click that, we're done, entered in. Our wonderful socially responsible uh, company, Umbrella Corporation. We will go ahead and double click that. And there we go. And there you have it. So think about how much time this saves you over going in there and, and, and be, even being as clever as you can with sorting and copying and everything else. This is by far much better. And just the idea that later on you can update this information here and it automatically then updates over here. I mean, that is the best thing. So now, when you go to print this out, or maybe, uh, maybe you're going to use this on a pivot table, you now have more fields of information, more friendly fields of information that will convey your message much more clearly, I think. So uh, good, good thing all the way around. Very easy to set up, as you can see here. So hopefully this will help you in what you're doing at work or at home or wherever you're at. And uh, thanks a lot for watching my video.